So, sometimes speaking the facts gets you a little bit of pushback. And to be clear, I fucking expected this. Um, I kind of expected more, maybe. But, you know, we'll see if this video gets me more people crying about facts. Basically, I, uh... <laughs> I, I saw on Twitter that it was trending, Obama donor, and I was like, I, I, I know what this is. Obama donor, Epstein linked, two different trends. So, yes, the guy behind the Trump raid I talked about yesterday is an Obama donor and he's linked to Epstein. 100%. Would never deny that. And he's a piece of shit, to be clear. He is the guy who literally represented Epstein in court. He's the guy who had Epstein's back. Now, whether or not that was just in lawyerly terms, that's a separate, you know, conversation entirely. I am not inclined to give a piece of shit like this the benefit of the doubt. So to, to give you a source here, the New York Post uh, reported this. That the Florida federal magistrate judge who signed off on a search warrant authorizing the FBI raid of Trump uh, donated to Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign months after he left the local U.S. attorney's office to rep employees of convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, who had received immunity in the long-running sex trafficking investigation of the financier. So fuck this guy, you know? Uh, sources tell the Post that Judge Bruce Reinhardt approved the warrant that enabled federal agents to converge on the palatial South Florida estate on Monday in what Trump called an unannounced raid on my home. Reinhardt was elevated to magistrate judge in March 2018 uh, after 10 years in private practice. That November, the Miami Herald reported... He had uh, represented several of Epstein's employees, including, by Reinhardt's own admission to the outlet, Epstein's pilots, his scheduler, Sarah, Sarah Kellen, and Nadia Marcinkova, I think I'm getting that right, who Epstein once reportedly described as his Yugoslavian sex slave. Kellen and Marcinkova were among Epstein's lieutenants who were granted immunity as a part of a controversial 2007 deal with federal prosecutors that allowed the pervert to plead guilty to state charges rather than federal crimes. Epstein wound up serving just 13 months in county jail and was granted work release. So yeah, 100% fuck this guy. And I would never, ever say otherwise. But! Trump isn't fucking better. Donald and Ivanka Trump made campaign donations to Kamala Harris. He also sent money to Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, John McCain, and more swamp faves. The judge behind the FBI raid of Mar-a-Lago is Epstein linked, but so is Trump. Being an Obama donor is no worse than all that. The truth is, Trump is neither as exclusively evil as these people claim, nor is he as awesome as his supporters claim. He's a run-of-the-mill swamper, and that's how he made his billions, even though he constantly went bankrupt and failed. Connections and support all through. Now, I'll get into the few people who couldn't handle these facts a little bit later. But I figure uh, it's, it's good to uh, prove my points, so I'm about to do that. 
This is from the Intelligencer. Donald and Ivanka Trump once made campaign donations to Kamala Harris. And, uh, yeah, this speaks for itself. And eventually, as of Tuesday, Democratic vice presidential candidate. The donations were originally noted by McClatchy, D.C., when Harris was running for president in the Democratic primaries last year. According to campaign finance records, Trump donated a total of 6 k to Harris's attorney general re-election campaign in 2011, uh, 5000 and in 2013, 1000 Ivanka Trump gave Harris's campaign 2000 in 2014. This was when she was locking up poor parents. This was when she was acting as a representative of the wealthy. And, you know, laughing in people's faces who couldn't afford bond by turning them into prisoners because their kids were truant. Taking parents away from kids in poor places is a great way for the state to replace them as the parents. It's evil. So, of course, Trump and Ivanka donated money to this evil. Because he's not a good fucking guy either. Much to the uh, dismay of all the MAGA people. Because they can't handle the fact that their guy supported the VP of the guy they hate. Nor can they handle the fact that he did it when she was running for top cop again. Which is what she identified as. I'm not making that up. I'm not adding shit to shit. She called herself top cop. I didn't. I'm just repeating what she said. He liked her as top cop, and so did Ivanka. And so they gave money to her as top cop. That's it. That's the facts. And then, on the Epstein score, uh, <laughs> let's just, uh, he's a lot of fun to be with. Inside Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump's epic bromance, and you can just read this article if you want, this was done very recently, and it has a bunch of very good facts in it, including an explanation of why this picture exists. It's not a shot in the dark. It's not fucking an exception to a rule. This was the rule for most of that interchange and there's a fucking article on it so telling me which i did get told this that i'm a communist because i'm reporting facts is fucking stupid and and just to just to you know make sure that i've got you know all of my my T's crossed and my I's dotted. Let's be real super clear here and go uh, check his Ballotpedia. Uh, because you'll see that Trump has donated to exactly the fucking people I said he had. Huh? The overwhelming amount of his donations went to Democrats, and the donations to Clinton um, <laughs> were no exception. And this was before, right? Like, obviously, now it might be a little different, but ultimately, yeah. You notice a shit ton going to Democrats. Charlie Rangel, Chuck Schumer... Hillary Clinton, Harry Reid, John Kerry, Anthony Weiner, and Joe fucking Biden. And this was after, you know, already donating to Harris, which I'm kind of surprised it doesn't immediately list here, because she's technically federal level now. So, yeah, I mean, it's obviously true, you know, 
the facts are obviously on my side. And he's a piece of shit, too. But that didn't stop a certain group of people, not all of them, by any means. Like, most of them who have seen it in this group like it. You know? Um, but some of them, right? I'm the kind of libertarian that made this person not want to be one. So what? Uh, this one asked me for proof, and then when I gave her proof, um, and asked her what else she needed, she basically made excuses for him. You know, and said, don't judge him for his past, which is the only thing you can judge somebody for. That's always a cop-out. And then this one is just 100% copium, calling me a communist because I disagree with Trump. This is the Libertarian Party. You're supposed to be supporting Libertarian Party candidates. It's even in the group fucking rules. But yeah, I mean, by all means, continue to cape for Trump. You know? It's fucking laughable. It's so laughable. Right? And this person is very laughable because he's like, you know, oh, you know, if the government didn't agree that he was corrupt by putting him in jail, he's not corrupt. What? Where the fuck did that become true? It's certainly not here in America or on Earth. Courts, the government, they support corrupt people all the fucking time. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys this, right? I thought I I would show you the facts, I would tell you the sources, and then you guys could go check and do your own research, much to the chagrin and hatred of Anthony Fauci and co. You can do your own research, and you can find out that I'm 100% accurate. Or you can just call me a communist, I guess that works too. Either way... I'm going to work my ass off to smash the fucking state.